Okay, you guys, it's me, Noko Hank. I know, long time no see. Totes my fault, okay? And I know you're probably pretty psyched to see what Barry and I are getting up to, but in meantime, let me refresh your memory on all the big stuff that's happened so far. Let's dive in, shall we? So, Barry is like super great guy who is a hitman, but he also wants to become an actor. If you cannot remember that, then like why even watch this show? That's it, I'm going to the cops. Barry ends up shooting his nice marine friend in the face. Wait, 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 wait! After his beefcake marine friend tried to vehicle homicide Bolivian Mafia leader Cristobal. Barry also kills Goran. Goran? Making me HCIC. Cad Chechen in charge. <gasps> and jokes on us, because turns out Bolivians are actually super cool guys. Especially Cristobal. We become 50-50 partners. Total dream team. Until Esther from Burmese Mafia comes in and screws everything up. Okay, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> How could we not want to be in business with this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my sanctuary. So the first time I saw this... Guess I should mention how the acting teacher brings up Barry's hitman monologue from before. I'm good at killing people. I, I don't remember that. And his cop girlfriend figures out that Barry is murderer connected to Ryan Madison's death, which really I was the one who got that done, but whatever. Move. So Barry has to kill her. Ugh, bummer. Anyway, back to my Esther problem. I asked my BFF body to do me a solid and kill her, which should have been easy since she has such a huge watermelon head. Well, he sure dropped the ball, but he totally made it up to me by turning my ragtag group of pathetic idiots into SEAL Team Six and a Half. Overall, it was a great Saturday. And just when we're all ready to totally bring down ass there, we're sold out by the fucking accordion guy. God, I hate that guy. It's okay though, because I save us all from being burned alive on school bus, which is actually kind of a real lean-in moment for me. Oh, shoot, oh, I'm, I'm running out of time. You wanna choke me? We'll choke on this, I'm fucking leaving you. So, some other stuff happens. Barney's girlfriend wants to do like powerful lifetime play about her abusive ex-husband. Hey, Lo and behold, he shows up and is a total jerk. The cop finds Fuchs's tooth in Goran's garage. Gross. Then uses Fuchs to trap Barry. You get rid of him. All of this goes away. What? Mr. Blabbermouth over here also tells drama teacher about a fucking war crime, NBD. Fuchs and Barry get their asses handed to them by this crazy Taekwondo father-daughter combo. Barry's girlfriend's plays a huge hit, even though it's a lie. Then Fuchs lets Kata to back to drama teacher about Barry. OMG, I almost forgot. The biggest news, Cristobal and Dream Team get back together. Till Barry shows up to our wicked dance party and starts killing people. Fuchs! No! I mean, luckily he kills Esther, but still, I'm like, read a room. So now I've got Batir back up in my grill. Hey, man. My safe house looks like the set of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And my best friend might have overdone it a little bit with the violence. Just classic one of my misadventures. So who knows what's next in store for me? Oh, come on now, wait, who did that? That is so sweet. 